Inflation can be demand-driven price gain or driven by supply-side factors or a combination of both demand and supply factors. So how are inflation, repo rate and demand linked? Repo is the rate at which a country's central bank lends money to commercial banks for a short term. These loans are given in exchange for government securities. A repo hike increases the interest payable by commercial banks on the loans to the RBI and that reduces banks' loan-taking capacity. Now this affects customers in two ways. One, banks may raise interest rates on deposits to increase cash at their disposal. That encourages customers to park their money in banks as they get better returns. The effect is that the money in circulation or liquidity reduces and demand falls. With a constant supply, prices cool down. And second, banks hike interest rates on products like home loans and car loans. Since loans become costlier, consumers avoid borrowing. That reduces money at their disposal and they are unable to make big expenditures like buying a new home or car or even education in some cases. The decline in liquidity leads to lower demand in the economy which brings down inflation. On the other hand, a reduction in repo makes loans cheaper and reduces returns on deposits. So customers prefer to keep the money with them instead of banking system. This increases the money at their disposal and pushes the demand up. However, do note that changes in the repo rate do little to address supply-side factors, be it high prices of commodities like crude oil or metals or imported food items like edible oils. Visit business-standard.com for more news, views and insights.